Wow, guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in area. Thank, Thank you for you watching my videos. Oh my God. The FOMC meeting goes off. We pump and we dump. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about that. And the destroyer is coming to destroy Bitcoin. We're going to find out who the destroyer is. Uh, so make sure you watch all the way to the end because it's a very interesting news rant. Lots of fun going to be coming. So make sure you stay around to be a part of that fun. All right. So with that said, uh, we're going to be talking about how to trade the next move in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if you want to do that, make sure you head over to okx.davincij15.com, right, for $8,000 deposit bonus, right? Links in the description below. Let's get to it right now. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Bitcoin, right, as we said before, right, the, the FOMC meeting is a very dangerous place to be uh, trading, right? Um, yeah, it can, it can go uh, either way on you, and uh, I thought it was going to be like, uh, okay, we're going to go up and then back up and then go down and then back up again, but we actually went up and then down. So... With that said, um, we're gonna we're gonna see where this thing is gonna trade. We've already broken through the first set of resistance, um, and it's unfortunate that uh, you know the market just could not hold these levels here. You can see this is now uh, new resistance levels here, right at the body candles, the candle bodies right here. Right, we maybe drag that down a little bit, but yeah, you can see that that's that's the new um, support and resistance level. So we could probably take this one off. Um, the one that we had drawn here and yeah, it was closer to the 38.2 than the, the other one that we had. So that's, that's the way it goes. The ball bounces. Actually, you know what? We have to redraw this fib all the way up here because you know what? The, um, the market went a little bit higher. So it's now the 50% mark. Okay. So, uh, Bitcoin is at the 61.8. Um, usually there's a nice reversal at the 61.8. Uh, that would be nice right about now, uh, but it would help if there's a little bit of support. There's not much support there. There's a little bit in this area, um, so it could to have a little bit of a bounce at this point. Uh, don't I wouldn't count on it. You can see that the um, the 78.6 has um, more of the support happening, so that's at the seventeen thousand two hundred dollar level or seventeen. 174 so uh that's where i would be looking to to get interested in buying uh bitcoin on a trade heading uh north uh heading upwards but you know what i was telling carl right many videos that we were together we have to break across the 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 the, the um the the 18 one and uh, stay above that at least in the four hour chart um and yeah we just could not do that right um that is a difficult thing to do. Um, once we did that, but at least we broke above it, the 18.1, which is critical. But there's a lot of uh, selling pressure coming in because you know what? There's a lot of guys out there that are sleeping on the couch and want to go back and sleep with their wives. <laughs> so <laughs> they're, once they made back even, they're like, okay, screw it there. I'm selling, I'm selling, man. Well, can, I, can I come back in the, uh, the bedroom, please, ma'am? <laughs> so yeah uh that's that's the situation we're having right now with uh with bitcoin and people um uh, actually who are, are you know buying bitcoin and they have paper hands there's a lot of paper hands out there people who are like oh it's like a rocket fall through it and then they were they would drop those those uh, bitcoin diamonds right but most of you guys have them in hands right and you're going to be uh, holding on to your your uh your crypto right I'm sure. Okay, so once again, if you want to trade, right, you can do so at okx.davincij15.com. Make sure you head over there right now, sign up, and be a part of it, right? You could also get uh, a mystery box just by signing up and get a claim, came up to $10,000. So make sure you do that. Also, um, yeah, um, if you just want to put in a few hundred dollars, right, 300 bucks, right, you could actually um, earn uh, $30, $40 in, in trading uh, for, for just depositing. So yeah, make sure you do that if you're interested in uh, that. But if you're doing, if you're a big trader, you're going to be getting some big dollars, right? Of course, up to eight thousand uh, dollars. Once again, um, you can trade, follow this uh, trading bot at mmc.davincij15.com. Links are in the description below. 
if you are not interested in trading, you just want to be able to earn money and sit around. <laughs> that's that's one way to do it. Okay, um, look at that. Just like I thought, right? I mean, Ethereum played out exactly as a plan. I knew that it was going to head back up to the um, the uh, thirteen forty nine level, and I, I bet you it surpassed that just by a little bit, and then rolled back. And I, and I told you guys that it would do that, and it, it, it did exactly that, exactly as predicted. Thirteen uh, five. 5.2, right? It was uh, um, the, the top there. So you can see that that um, happened as, as planned. That was the only trade that you had, right? If you wanted to trade uh, um, headed up, um, uh, there was not much left. To, and you, it was high risk because, you know, if it drops like back down to this level, it's just a 50-50, right? Risk to reward ratio. So remember i said that in a few videos back right so all right so now we've we've come back down and uh you know ethereum is headed has broken this this resistance which was yeah you can see that if it was clear was this actually you know what we could take it out we could take this out so that we could see that hey wait a second here this resistance was serious right there you go there you go i mean we can we can probably move it down a little bit Yeah, and then yeah, it looks a little bit clearer there, and then uh, there it is. That's that was the resistance uh, support actually for this reversal back, and that uh, we've broken through it. It was resistance before, and now it's support, and here we are. We're broken down. Now we're, we can see that the next set of uh, support and resistance is coming in at the uh, oh wow a little bit lower, but we might you know we might be get lucky. And have this thing uh, reverse right a little bit sooner if we do some fibs uh, trading here. Maybe we can come back down to seventy eight point six, a little bit lower, to, just to blast out all these uh, these longs and then reverse. So let's just see what happens uh, in the next little while. Um, most likely, um, I would say yeah, uh, the seventy eight point six is uh, is safe on Ethereum. It's a it's the hail mary, right? But um, uh, but the Ethereum is definitely in an in uptrend, so we could say um, that, uh, let's see here, let's do a ray, and then zoom out a little bit so we can show you guys the uptrend here. You can see that this uptrend could uh, continue if we just spike down a little bit below to the 78.6 and then come back out. And can recapture the the, uh, the trend line. The theorem likes to do that. Likes to do a break a trend line and um, recapture it. So don't be surprised. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That lines up nicely, almost with the uh, the low lows there. So uh, and don't be surprised if we stay a few candlesticks below that and then uh, rise up. Okay. So let me head over to the the news. Remember, I do this live, right? Um, if you want to join us. Uh, live and see what I'm trading is at davincij15.com, right? Uh, just uh, head over there for really low prices on, on uh, joining our group. Okay, so let's start off with, uh, I love this, okay? Bitcoin has rallied. What are the cryptos, cryptos, true believers still smoking? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to explain to y'all what we're smoking. So. Please, but let me just read what, what they have to say. Bitcoin has still plunged in value by almost two thirds this year. It should be said, but it has also rallied by 10% since the downwards crunch launch when FTX filed for bankruptcy in mid November, which is extraordinary. One has to wonder what are True crypto believers still smoking. Okay, sir, I'm, I want you to come closely. I want, I want you to, I'm going to tell you what we're smoking. Come on, come on. Hopium. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I had to, I had to. Okay, obviously, we, obviously, all of us, uh, Crypto believers, we know that Bitcoin is going to be the money. Period. Right? That's what that's what we're on. Right? We know that it's going to be money. I knew it was going to be money when it was a dollar. 
I knew what it was going to be thirty-two dollars, and then it came back down to two dollars. Still going to be money. Still going to be the money. And when it pumped all the way up to thirteen hundred and back down to fifty dollars, still going to be money, right? So let's let's be real here, right? Bitcoin has its ups and downs, but it's going to be the money. Okay. This guy says, um, "Wait a minute! Uh, I found who Satoshi Nagamoto is. Look at this! Look at this! Hal Finney, he signed this message saying." Oh my God, Hal Finney signed this message. Remember this, I'm Hal Finney, not Satoshi, Hal Finney. This transaction made by Paul Lux to Hal Finney on January, to, uh, January 12, 2009, Bitcoin, hashtag Bitcoin. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I wanna like actually uh, decode this message because I'm sure like, because we, we can like uh, find out if the signature matches this um this uh this is the signature and this is the address and if they match right we can find out if that's the case if this message matches the signature um but uh uh let's just assume it does let's assume it does it was written and signed by hal finney not by not by satoshi so the odds of that this is correct because we don't know, because Hal Finney's dead. We can't ask him, how do you know that Paul Lux, uh, Paul Lurux is Satoshi? All right. Uh, pro XRP lawyer pro, uh, forecast and ripple lawsuit at rumored uh, for, of a settlement swirl. Okay, so that's good for XRP. Um, if they settle, right, then, you know, they, that's a, um, that um, doesn't mean that all the rest of the crypto space is... Um, let off the hook in the United States. Um, it just means that you know what they can just pay off, pay, pay off the uh, the criminal organization that's called the government um, in order to continue our operations. All right. Um, only one percent of people can handle crypto self custody right now. Binance CEO says. Now, whilst I will attend to probably agree with that in a sense. Um, there are children right growing up and they can they can easily do that they they know how to they can learn because they're curious they want to learn they want to be uh uh they want to be in the new technology area and so they will uh learn how to do it in order to make money and so that's the people we should target it and not uh not the elder people because they're gonna want, they're gonna be the ones that help the older people um, you know, basically secure their crypto. Okay. Oh, man. You know what? It's the destroyer. Elizabeth Clueless Warren is coming. She's introducing sweeping anti-privacy, -pri anti-freedom, Bitcoin bill. She's going to win. Yeah. She's going to destroy us all. <laughs> let's, let's pretend that this U.S. senator has a chance in hell in being successful. I mean, she's the worst of the worst. She is. She drives. She flies everywhere in you know private jets, right? Lives the lavish lifestyle, whilst you peons must live on the ground. Ground. Stay down. She's the worst. Anyone who listens to this woman, right, has lost their freaking mind. <laughs> right so the odds of her actually her bill actually getting anywhere is low but even if it does it's irrelevant because like i've said in many of my speeches and many of my um, discussions that in the past right governments hated books they've hoarded cars right and that's why today we don't have any of those books or cars oh wait wait a second we do but did they did they try to destroy them? But it didn't work with the laws. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you cannot destroy a technology whose time has come. Period. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I have to get going. I have a meeting right now, and I'll let you guys uh, go. Thanks for watching, and we'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.